times you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. Why can't I be the best player in the league? I don't see why. Why? not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. This man has a smile that lights up a television screen from here to Bangor, Maine. RC beats on the fucking track. Magic Johnson as a pure point guard is the greatest who ever lived. Magic Johnson, the five-time champion that he is. We're talking about a guy that operates in the clutch. We're talking about a guy that leads and galvanizes troops. Probably the greatest player in the game right now. You're talking about passing ability. You're talking about orchestrating an offense. You're talking about being a leader of men, both on and off the court. No one who ever lived passes as well as Magic Johnson. There it is. It's over. And the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. Maybe you'll see me back. Maybe you won't. But I'll remember the, all of these good times. Pick Michael Jordan. Drafted by the Bulls with the third overall pick in 1984, he was an instant sensation. Talented player in the NBA by far. You know, when you're talking about this Bulls team, you're really only talking about Michael Jordan. All the way. Oh, it's unbelievable. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Guys, the Bulls win it. They win. You know, when you're a competitor, you want to play against the best. I played against Larry, and I've always wanted to play against Mike. I had some of my fondest memories just hanging out with Michael. You can't get too close to Michael, it's a foul. <laughs> you haven't committed a foul in almost a year and a half, man. I hear you talk. <laughs> my goodness. I don't think you ever found out of a game. When do you ever found out of a game? Best game I ever played in. Best game I ever played in, in, in a sense that no coaching, 10 Hall of Famers playing against each other. I mean, how many, how many times are you going to get that to happen in the game of basketball? So we were playing for uh, our ego. We were playing to let guys know that, hey, I'm the best at what I do, and I'm going to go head to head against you. We had me, Scotty, Mullins, Bird, and Patrick, and Magic had his five. We weren't going to change that team at no point in time. You got your five, I got my five. Michael Jordan called Clyde out and went at him. Tell him, this is what I'm going to do to you. Fall away jumper, good. What did I tell you? So then I came down. <laughs> His energy is real high. He feels like he's in an opportunity to prove himself. And showcase that, hey, look, I'm still Magic Johnson. We st I still dominate this game. That's all right. That's all right. As much as it was five on five, you could see in Monte Carlo that it was gravitating towards, okay, Michael and Magic. How you like that ass kicking we gave you? Oh, no, no, no. Come on now. Well, Y'all got the first, first quarter practice now. By the time practice was over, even Magic had to acknowledge basketball's landscape had been changed forever. That's when we knew that the torch was being passed from, from myself and Larry onto Michael. But I'm gonna tell you the moment that really got us. So we got back to the hotel, right? And so Michael's up there and he's smoking on his cigar. Larry and I just sitting there having a Coke or whatever. And he says, guys, and he put his hands on my shoulder, put his hands on Larry's shoulder and said, guys, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> so he was like, oh man, <laughs> what could we say? He said, you know what, you're right. <laughs> it's your league now. 
The NBA is a league of stars, and none shine brighter than Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. And while much has been said about their respective teams, nothing has been more anticipated than their individual matchup. In sports, the stage is set for the Air Magic Show in the NBA Finals. Starting Sunday, it'll be Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls against Magic Johnson and the L.A. Lakers. Up until that point, it was a stigma that Michael Jordan, all he does is win scoring titles. He never wins championships. That was my chance to get in the category of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Coming up on two minutes. every day and sometimes I would win and most times he would win. We were, we're, we're two competitive people and so I wanted to push him and he wanted to push me. Is there a feeling of, of passing of the torch, Magic Johnson, to you? Well, I know we express our love for each other and, and the love of competition. His ability to take over games, his ability to want to have that last shot. And demoralize you. And, yes. And scare the living hell out yes. of you. Yes. Get to it, hoes hitting me up, cause they all just wanna fuck. He kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh, yes. People were afraid of him. <laughs> we were his teammates and we were afraid of him. I mean, there was just fear. Right back. Oh, you Woo! Through the foul. Yeah. Nigga. Working till I get that cube in my nigga. I'm with whatever shit, let's do it, my nigga. And she hate it when I hit him with Jordan Pat my Petrovich. Every year he came back and he was better. He was stronger. He was quicker. He shot the ball better. He had a three-point rank. He made me want to be an NBA basketball player. MJ was that dude to take over a game. Averaging 40 in the finals one year, winning that championship. I mean, defending the best players. I, I, I can't, he's just the greatest to me, man. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Kobe. Yeah. He don't let the game come to him. Mm -hmm. no, he just walk and see. He's gonna take this one. He's gonna make it. Make this shit happen. I'm gonna make this a one-on-one -on -one game. And there you see Kobe Bryant in the foreground, the man many have dubbed the next Michael Jordan. The truth of the matter is, I mean, he's helped me out a great deal. I asked him for advice. He give me advice straight from his heart. He certainly has a lot of skills, and you see that. In, but he's got a lot of confidence. I've always been, you know, like a big brother and you like a little brother. You got the teacher versus the student. He asked me one question. He's been down at half court. Was he willing to give you any advice or give you any secrets? Yeah, he did. He did. He's only the third non-starter to start an all-star game. The question, does he belong, pops up. There's been so many next Michael Jordans. I think now I've been 
uh, pushed aside and Kobe's the next Michael. I think he's going to try to send you a message. Maybe. Maybe. I don't want to send him a message that I don't back down from anybody. I just wanted to make sure I, that Kobe didn't dominate. It looks like the old guy has a few good tricks left, huh? A few. <laughs> a few. Uh, Media. Mike, Mike is incredible. He's an incredible basketball player. He knows how to keep the defense off balance and uh, spectacular. First Lakers phenom Kobe Bryant. Just 19 years old, he's been voted by the fans to start in next Sunday's All-Star game, making him the youngest player in NBA All-Star history. Exactly what I'm, what I'm trying to get at, what I want people to understand. You know, when Dr. J was retiring, uh, you know, Michael came to leave and people were comparing Mike with Dr. J. People always make comparisons, but it's up to that, to the own individual throughout the years who's going to create his own identity. To the foul line, the jumper over him, and that's the way the first quarter will conclude. Kobe Bryant is guarded by Michael Jordan. And pull away by Kobe Bryant. And even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant is the future of the NBA. You're looking at the present and the future. I mean, I am 19. Uh, I'm very, very young. Uh, but at the same time, basketball has no age. Jump shot has no age. Crossover has no age. So when I'm out there playing, I'm playing hard. Um, I'm fitting in just with the rest of the guys. Um, but off the court, I'm, I'm 19 years old. So I'm just going to have fun like a 19-year-old. When I came to the league and matching up against him, um, what I found is I found that he was extremely open um, to having a relationship, a mentor relationship, and giving me a great amount of advice. And, Seriously, I mean, I don't think people really understand the amount of impact that he's had on me as a, as a player and, uh, and as a leader. Michael Jordan says he sees some of him in you. Well, that's cool. It's a great compliment. Uh, I just have to continue to work hard, be the best basketball player that I can possibly be. If I was in my prime, who would I want to play one-on-one -on -one with? Um, that list is very long. I don't think I lose. Other than Kobe Bryant because he steals all my moves. Kobe has sent a message to everyone else that he is the future. Every time I do something, if I'm playing well, they always compare what I'm doing to what Jordan used to do. This is a patented Kobe Bryant shot. Did he get it from Michael Jordan? Oh, yes, he did. The youngest in NBA history to reach 23,000. I appreciate the comparisons. It's a great honor. Hey! Foul all day long. Oh, I know you ain't talking. I know you ain't talking. Hey, you only got three now. I got six. I will get that foul. You only got three now. Sits down and he goes, first thing Kobe says is, 
I can kick your ass one on one. But not even letting him get anything out. There's no conversation. What did Michael say back? You might. You You might? He said you might? Yeah, he said, I've been on the game a couple years. You just might. For several years now, the search has been on in the NBA for the next Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant's name has been mentioned among the possible candidates. As all eyes were on MJ playing perhaps his final game in the City of Lights, would he shine the brightest as he has throughout his entire career, or would Kobe steal the show? Well, he has really been alert defensively especially tonight in this early going looking for opportunities to double team now sets nine away okay jerry stackhouse gonna have to step up and get a hand for us and he's got five of them here already tonight make it six was the greatest basketball player, studied the game, was a student of the game, worked harder than anybody else, including Jordan, to do what he did. You know speeds on the track. Every time I have a conversation with Tex Winters, who was an unbelievable coach, Tex, I remember one game coming off the floor, and I, I scored like 20 points in a, in a row to win the game. Tex reminded me that there's no I in team. And I look back at Tex, I say it's I and win. The day Kobe gave my respect was the guys were complaining. I said, Shaq, Kobe's not passing the ball. I said, I'll talk to him. I said, Kobe, there's no I in team. And Kobe said, I know, but there's an in me and that Kobe Bryant to me is one of my favorite. Role models. I'm not going to guarantee no championship. I tell you that. I'm just going to. I'm, I'm guaranteed that we get better every day. And uh, that's the thing that you guys don't see. That comes from practice. Sometimes you have practice, but sometimes you're not. I just know that we're going to get better every day, and we're going to be a we're going to be a lot better team than last last year. I can guarantee that. I just hope that they, uh, you know, they, they be your friend until you get on the team. I just hope that they accept me for who I am as a basketball player, and especially as a person. You know, I'm not coming into the team right away trying to be a leader. But if they get that to me, I, I know how to be a leader. Oh, Kevin, this is this is great. This is what the NBA is all about. They are the most exciting two players in a long time. You can hear the debate every day at the barbershop, and you hear the debate every day at the office. It's the Kobe-LeBron debate. 
This is one for the ages. It doesn't get any better. Than he this. looks at me like his younger brother for sure. Kobe Bryant was like the next thing to Michael Jordan. He's amazingly great. LeBron's even better, primarily because he's two inches taller and 40 pounds heavier. Grab the ball and you say, here, take me to the promised land. LeBron is not somebody that's going to be on that list most of the time in a lot of people's eyes. And nobody is going to question that Kobe would be on that list. When money time arrived and it was time to give him the ball, whether it was in the finals against Indiana, whether it was 2001 in the postseason, whether it was 2010 against Boston, or times in between, Kobe at a younger age was so sensational. LeBron had to grow into that Agreed. role for a significant period of time. The MVP candidates going at it. Those guys flat out get after it. Well, these two are the best of their generation, obviously. They have a special relationship. Um, take myself out of the equation who's the best player in the NBA. Yep. Uh, LeBron James. There's a mutual respect that we have for one another. It's that level of respect that enables us to perform at a, at a high level. It automatically, it automatically makes you better. There's James. Goes across the lane, lays it up, and lays it in. And there it is. He just became the third leading scorer in NBA history. Passing Kobe Bryant. Another milestone for the great LeBron James. I look at Kobe Bryant as the best in our league. LeBron has done so much for the game. He's an incredible player. And so much for what he's been able to do for the league. I'm just trying to put on a show for him and give him a reason to be like, okay, we might come to him. I want to continue along with my teammates to continue his legacy, not only for this year, but as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love, because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out. But in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. With the first pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. There's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. I've been getting pressure since I was 10 years old. LeBron James for shot. NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Giannis Adetokounmpo from Athens, Greece. He last played for Field Atletikos in Greece. In the long-term picture, this kid has as much upside as most anybody in this draft. Well, he's going to be a special player. I mean, he's, a, he's a kid, and he's going to do nothing but get better.
He's like he's about turn 35 this month, and then he's moving like that, playing like that, just you know playing smart, and it's insane. You can say what he's able to do, but he's LeBron James, you know he's different, he's alien. So I know he's improved. Obviously, just continue to you know prove off of what he did last season. So I did see the numbers, I seen some of the highlights, and um, you know he's a very dynamic player, a very good player. Um, you know on the path to greatness, that's for sure. If he's not already there. This is LeBron James against Giannis. LeBron James would come in second to Giannis at best in the MVP voting. And Tedekumbo, oh my goodness! He's inhuman! Oh my lord! He's better than LeBron now. He was better last year. He's about to be the two time. Back, he's got to win back to back regular season MVPs. So that's not in the street. hits a three. For these two teams, it should mean everything because the Lakers are going for the number one seed in the Western Conference and the Bucks are going for the number one overall seed in the NBA. There's a legitimate chance they could face one another in the NBA Finals. And Giannis on the two. Oh. Right now, who's the best player in the game, LeBron James or Giannis Antetokounmpo? Giannis. Giannis is the most dominant player. The 2019 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Uh, my goal is to win a championship. Um, as my dad told me, you know, always want more, but never be greedy. Uh, my goal is to win a championship, and we're going to do whatever it takes to make that happen. Thank you, guys.